Hi. So this is a pretty simple question based on uh, properties of log. So we have log of this whole thing base 7 is 0. Now this is a very complex uh, uh, what do you say expression here. So let's say this is uh, a. So what we effectively have is that log of a base 7 is 0. Right. Assuming this whole thing is a. Now it's pretty simple. Let's convert this into ex exponential equation. So we have number a should be equal to base 7 to the power 0. That means a comes out to be 1. Okay. Now let's see what was a. This whole expression is a. So a is nothing but log of square root of x plus 5 plus square root of x base 5 is equal to 1. Okay. Now again we have log of an expression base 5 is 1. So let's convert this into uh, exponential equation. So we have this is the number, this is the base and this is the power. So the number which is root of x plus 5 plus root x is equal to base which is 5 to the power 1 which is effectively 5 to the power 1 is 5. So this is what we have. Now either you can solve this, sorry this must be x here not 5. We have x here right. So now either you can solve this by taking square uh, on both the sides and then forming and then you'll have to take uh, do square again. But that is a slightly lengthier and more calculation intensive method. What you can do is you can simply substitute or check options and see which option would satisfy this equation. So let's check each of these options one by one. Option A which is 1. So we'll have root of 1 plus 5 is root 6 plus root of 1 is 1. Is it equal to 5? No, it is not equal to 5. Hence, option A is rejected. Option B. Uh, option B here is root of 0. X is 0, right? So root of 0 plus 5 is root 5 plus root of 0 is 0. Is it equal to 5? No, it is not. Hence, this is also rejected. Okay. Next, uh, let's check for option C, which is 2. So we have root of 2 plus 5 is root 7 plus root of 2. Now, is it equal to 5? Obviously not. These are two irrational numbers and this is a rational number. So not equal to 5. So option A, B, C, none of them satisfies this equation, uh, this particular expression. Hence, option D is the right answer. Now, if you want to figure out what is the actual value of x let's see for that what we'll have to do is we'll have to take square of this equation so squaring both the sides we'll get this is a plus b whole square so a square which is x plus 5 plus b square which is x plus twice of a into b so which is square root of x plus 5 into square root of x which is square root of x plus 5 into x which is equal to 25 okay now so uh, keeping this over here we have twice of square root of x plus 5 into x is equal to 25 minus 5 is 20 and x plus x is 2x goes that side becomes minus 2x dividing by 2 we get square root of x plus 5 into x is equal to 10 minus x. Now again taking square both the sides this part will become x plus 5 into x which is equal to a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus twice of a into b which is minus 20x and this effectively is x square plus 5x which is equal to 100 plus x square minus 20x. x square x square cancels out minus 20x comes on the left hand side becomes plus 25x which is equal to 100. Hence this gives us that x is equal to 100 by 25 which is 4. x equals to 4 is the right answer of this question. And if you substitute x equals to 4 see what happens. If x is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9 square root of 9 is 3 plus square root of 4 is 2 and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 which satisfies. Uh, so x equals to 4 is not there in the first three options. Hence option D is the right answer here.
थैंक यू